Well, you have a motion of uh, no confidence against the Prime Minister that was uh, submitted to the Chairman of the Private Business Committee, which is a Speaker, and the Speaker has accepted that. The, the Committee has accepted it, and uh, it's now put on note this paper. So when Parliament starts tomorrow, the, the mover of the motion, the Leader of the Opposition, will have to move a motion of confidence against the Prime Minister. And they will have to get the, the number, required number, to pass the motion. And if the motion is passed, then because the alternate Prime Minister or the next Prime Minister is named already in the motion, he automatically becomes a Prime Minister. You don't necessarily have to vote him. Because the motion is moved against the seat of the Prime Minister and there's an alternate Prime Minister, next Prime Minister, named in the motion. So when the motion gets successful, the candidate or the member of parliament who's named as the next Prime Minister becomes a Prime Minister, yeah. which is in this case is Rainbow Paita. Um, no one can, from the opposition or from the government, can say, or oh, we will amend the, or substitute the name of Rainbow Paita and put somebody else. Because although section 154 subsection 3 says that, that you can substitute the name of some other person, that provision section 145 subsection 3 of the constitution is not, uh, is not very clear as to what it means. That section has, subsection has not been judicially determined by the Supreme Court, that this is the way. So if you read section 145 subsection 1a, b, and section 145 2, Clearly, you will find, and one, you will clearly find that for you to remove a prime minister, you've got to follow those processes. You've got to name the prime minister, alternate prime minister. You've got to give one week's notice. It has got to be signed by one-tenth of the members of parliament. It's a clear pres prescription under the constitution. So one cannot say that the speaker has got absolute right, because the speaker's powers are given by the constitution. And what you can do and what you cannot do. And because it is a constitutional process, the Speaker is limited to what is prescribed that he can do under the Constitution, Section 145. See, if anybody tries to say that, no, well, a motion is on the floor, so anybody can become a Prime Minister, nominate as a Prime Minister, and they can substitute their name. No, it's not like that. It is a constitutional process that clearly prescribes, and you must follow that process. Prime Minister James Marabe remains as Prime Minister. And they can always move on another motion, a motion of confidence. The opposition is free to move another motion. The only qualification is that it's going to be 12 months before the next general election, you can't move a motion of confidence against the Prime Minister. But before that, if they are unsuccessful tomorrow, they can move another motion. Signs, somehow, and then it's a resignation, then anybody can become Prime Minister. From the opposition, anybody can be nominated. Then that person will have another 18 months grace period which will take him effectively to 2027 national election. If the Prime Minister resigns and gets re-elected again, he will have another 18 months grace period again to 2027. So if the Prime Minister thinks that he's got the numbers, he can resign on the floor tomorrow and get re-elected and cut off the next, the threat of war of no confidence again.